I hear a duck. Quack, quack. So she's starting to listen already to long and short differences. She's very distracted, as you might expect by the cameras, but just so you all are aware. Um, Mama. Listen. Mama. Mama. So she's starting to listen to those differences and imitate those differences for us already, um, which is really amazing for um, her age, but also for the, the length of time that she's been activated. So um, we're so excited about the Rondo because Jade wears glasses, and that little over-the-ear um, processor that she's been wearing has we've had a couple of issues with. So um, we are, she's excited, I think, too, just to have something that's not going to be interfering with the wearing of her glasses. Glasses. So um, she's done amazing, and her attention to auditory information has increased hugely in the last month. We're going from this to this. That is dramatic. Mm. Oh, you want that one? Don't you? <laughs> okay. That one. You put it on. You put it on. Oh, upside down. Turn it over. There we go. Awesome. Do you want to see her? Well, there she's showing it to you. <laughs> Can you do that again? <laughs> Can you turn around and show? Hey, Jade, look at me. Look, show them your... Cool. Is that nice? Say, Mama. Mama. Jackie and Eric, her parents, have chosen a listening and spoken language outcome for her, which means that our focus in therapy is to help Jade um, learn how to listen, essentially. So um, we take this for granted with children who, ha who are born with typical hearing. Um, there's a process that happens. We have to learn to recognize sound as sound. Voice is different from an environmental sound. Um, we have to learn to discriminate different sounds from one another. Um, and then make some meaning from those sounds. I mean, it definitely is a process, especially for a child that's not had access to spoken language or even just access to sound. Jade hasn't had access to sound. Um, so we're working, it's, it's a very intensive process. It's definitely a lifestyle change for her family um, to begin to just point auditory first, point out the sound first um, before we give her visual information. Um, as Jackie mentioned, she has shown us that her desire, her internal desire is to learn to, to talk. She's very verbal. She wants to communicate with other people. Um, so we're very helpful for a great outcome for, for speech for Jade.